Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a Ford Focus 2012 and it has the dreaded water leak in the boot. All right, now this is a common problem from Focus's Mark III, I believe, 2011 to 2015, all right? It's a common problem, like I said. Today I'm gonna to show you where it comes in, how it comes in, and how to put it right. Let's get into it. Right, so the Focus. The dreaded water in the boot. Now, at first thought, you might think that it comes in from your rear lights leaking or something like that, but in actual fact, guys, it comes from inside your bumper, your rear bumper, okay? They've got sound deadening sort of foam pads in the rear, all right, both sides. What happens is the water drains down and soaks into there and it causes a, a capillary action. Now, a capillary action is just like if you put kitchen roll in a bucket of water. What happens is the water soaks up the kitchen roll, so that's a capillary action. Now what happens is these foam pads soak all the moisture, all the water up, and then it's got nowhere else to go but into the car. So if you come on in, these pads actually sit below your wheel base, your wheel well. We've actually got this one out and cleaned it all out. What happens is it actually overfills and spills in. You can still see slight residue left over, but we've, we've emptied as much as we can out. Um, to try and make a start on it. To do the job properly, guys, you need to remove the rear bumper, all right? So that's gonna be the next step. When we get that, I'll explain how to get it off, what to do, and how to put it right, okay? So stay with me, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so a quick way to find out if yours does have this issue, this common water leak, is if you go up under the rear bumper, they have got little drain holes, okay, on both sides. Now, if you can just see just there, all right, that is one of the drain holes. And if you just push it up a little bit, can you see the water there just starting to come out? There you go, see? So I don't want to take it all the way out, all right? But before we start to do the job, we will take those out, drain as much of the water out as we can so it doesn't go everywhere, you know, when you actually start to do the job. So if we look under the driver's side now, which is the one that we've removed already, you can see just here. Okay, that just there all right so we've removed that one and that's all drained out okay right so time to get the rear bumper off right so first step is to remove the rear lights again you don't have to do this but there are clips that sit just underneath here just underneath the, the lights for the bumper that make it a lot easier so first of all remove your rear lights So we've got one side all unbuttoned. We just go on to the other side. Martin, who's our mechanic, will now just explain how many screws are in the wheel liner. There's two um, torques, 30 torques that hold the wheel arch liner in place, and then 130 torques that holds the bumper in place. There you go. We've now also removed two seven mils from either side of the bumper, and two panel poppers underneath the bumper. Yeah, okay, and so now, guys, do you remember earlier we were saying about taking the rear light out, which makes it easier because it reveals this clip here? So, Martin, I'll show you now how much easier it is with the light out. So, we've pulled the bumper off here, just unclips, lever these up, and the bumper comes off. See, easy as that. Okay, so that's one side done. And Martin, I'll go over now to the other side. Don't get me wrong, this will help if you had two people, but I leave him to it. I will just grab this end for and make it a bit easier. Uh, this version has got um, reversing sensors. So you need to disconnect the wiring underneath. There's a plug that you can disconnect. Okay, so now you can see the full bumper has been removed. And what it reveals, are these grills. Okay, now the water comes down, runs all the way down under your light, runs down and actually goes in behind these grills. So these have got to come out, resealed and then be refitted. Now these can be a little bit fiddly, we have just got to sort of lever them out, a little trim tool and snap they come out. And as you can probably see, look at that, absolutely soaking. 
So now we've got to remove all this, replace and refit. And I just think guys, all that fills up and then just empties into the car. That is where the water comes from. Oh my God. Right, so one done, three more to go. Okay, so as you can see, we've removed all the grills now. And what actually happens is, these are the grills. Okay, so they sit on the rear bumper. Now, this part here, obviously just like any rubber part, it gets brittle, deteriorates over time. So that sat, sits against your bumper and it fails. So it just lets water slide in. All right, so that sits on the back panel, okay, here, and it lets water get in between. And then like you said, that just fills up in there then. So what we're doing now, we're just gonna clean all these up, clean the surface area up, reseal them. We're using, uh, it's called OB1 sealer. A real good sealer uh, is what you need. Reseal it all, refit it back up, and away you go. Okay, so we're now ready. We've done one side. Okay, we've replaced them, and now we're gonna do the driver's side. So, gaskets have all been cleaned. And like I say, we've got the OB1 now. We're literally just smothering it on get plenty on there okay one little tip guys what i would say is when you come to do this side okay on this side one make sure you put plenty on this top corner because you when you go to put it back in you can't actually get right up in this corner so make sure you get plenty on that side of the part before you replace it so all filled up all round it yep and then you go and it is as simple as that. The hardest bit, guys, is actually getting everything off, getting to the the problem. You know, once you've got everything off, you've got everything out, actually, you know, replacing it, resealing it isn't that much hard work. Okay, so hopefully, guys, this will help you out. We'll come back when it's all done and refitted up. Okay, right guys, there you go. That's it, that is the Ford Focus water leak in the boot. Don't get me wrong, you could have other areas where you're getting water ingress, sometimes the lights fail, etc. But the main one that we've come across is the water problem, which fills up the foam inserts in those little pockets on each side. All right guys, so again, little tip for you, if you haven't got access to get your rear bumper off and you haven't got all the tools, just remember what I showed you earlier in the video, the little lugs up underneath, you can just pop them out and let a lot of the water drain out, all right? That'll help for a period of time, but it's not a solution, all right? But there you go. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.